Donovan, we're here at the uh, launch of the Chris Gale Academy at uh, Cricket for Change. Can you tell, tell me a little bit about how it started? Um, it started about three years ago when we went and a Cricket for Change staff went on a team away day in Ireland and um, we were coming up with loads of different ideas and um, I was standing with my um, chief executive Andy Sellings and I said to him, what do you think we come up with an academy for young people? Um, and he turns and says to me, great idea. And then he said, what should we call it? And I said, how about the Chris Gale Academy? And obviously I'm great, good mates with Chris. Um, I just sent him a BB message said, what do you think? I'm thinking I've set up an academy in England and then we could probably set one up in Jamaica, India and around the world, what do you think? And he says, okay, two words. And um, that's exactly how it started. And for the last three years, it's been a lot of planning behind it, a lot of meetings, but I'm quite happy it's, it's finally happened happening now and it's quite exciting times for both the Chris Gale Foundation and Cricket for Change. Yeah, just hearing um, a, a few things that Chris Gale mentioned uh, um, about uh, the club that he came from, Lucas in Jamaica, it's really important um, for, for kids to, to have the opportunity to, to, to play cricket. Absolutely, I mean me and Chris is from the same um, background and we, we play for separate clubs in Jamaica but we have the same we have the same way how to go about things and um, you know so it's just two great minds working alike and it's it's a great opportunity you know he's I think he likes doing charity work and I think that's the route he's looking to go down in maybe in the next 20 years when he retires <laughs> so you know it's, it's great things starting up yeah and behind you um, there's a game going on is the academy in, in play at the moment yes um, the academy is playing the club cricket conference I mean it's it's wet and, and, and cold but as you can see you're excited the boys um, is having Chris here and playing this game and it's very good to see the, the, the club cricket conference we were quite closely with them over the last couple of years myself as well have a foot in in both ends because uh, I represent the club the club cricket conference and you know for them to come here and play in this condition is really really helpful and it's a good day for both of us okay so what can you say what sort of message can you put out there for for the young kids um, who, who want to get on in life and particularly in cricket guys um, it's just not cricket guys there's loads of opportunities out there for you by using the cricket so if you get to that age and you feel like you want to quit the game have a good think about it there's loads of different routes you can take and as you can see what's happening here now we have some good cricketers we have young people who been in trouble all different from different backgrounds and we're trying to use in cricket as the vehicle to try and hook them and divert them in the in the part they want to go